Consider this video a little cheat sheet for you to better understand the difference between the most popular red wines. Here we go. Cabernet Sauvignon, or as the kids are calling it, Cab Sauv. It's usually made with thick skin grapes and it has tasting notes that are big, bold, acidic, savory, and dry, with hints of cherry, vanilla, and caramel. If you're looking to really get your buzz on, you've come to the right place. The alcohol content on this red is over 13.5%. So it's the wine you wanna drink when you feel like getting a little sloppy. And it's definitely the guy that you wanna drink alongside a steak, classic combination. Merlot, here we go. Merlot is mellow, sweet, mild, soft, and simple. It tastes like cherries, flowers, even chocolate. Some say it's boring, but sometimes things don't have to be so complicated and simplicity is best, especially when you're pairing it. Merlot is versatile, but if you really want her to shine, drink her alongside something Italian, something with a red sauce, like a big bowl of spaghetti and meatballs. Molto bene. Now, if you've seen the movie Sideways, you probably know that they make fun of Merlot a lot. If they want to drink Merlot, we're drinking Merlot. No, if anybody orders Merlot, I'm leaving. I am not drinking any f***ing Merlot! But don't let that dissuade you. Sure, when it's bad, Merlot is really bad. But when it's good, it can actually be really great. Pinot Noir is the most popular grape grown for wine. And there are about 40 different strains of grape under the umbrella of Pinot Noir. That's a lot of juice. So what's it taste like? Kind of like raspberries and blackberries. It's fruity, it's light, it's earthy. It's usually what I get when I'm drinking with people that aren't huge wine drinkers. It's a people pleaser. Low tannins, high drinkability. Obviously, Pinot Noir goes great with red meat like steak, but this is actually the red wine that you can drink with seafood. Wait, Ryan. Wait, Ryan. <clears throat> Wait, Ryan. Wait, Ryan. Wait, wine and shrimp purists be Malbec. It's full-bodied, it's soft, it's even smoky sometimes, and it has notes of berries and black pepper. Malbec is a heavy hitter. Because of its robust taste, Malbec can stand up to some serious flavor when it's paired. Try it with a heavy, fatty, spicy meat. I'm talking brisket, pulled pork, a burger. Now you know the difference between four red wines that will definitely be on the menu next time you hit up a wine bar.